I'm so excited to be able to bring a Google Classroom to you today. Um, Classroom is a new Google product that enables teachers to create and organize assignments and announcements quickly, provide feedback easily to students, improve class communication between students, and most of all, stay organized through it all. I know those of you who have used G-Class folders in the past have noticed that the organizational piece um, was a little bit difficult to follow, and I'm hoping that you'll find this to be better. So today, we're going to talk about Google Classroom, and you're looking right now at the Google Desktop. Um, the Google Desktop itself um, contains your current classes. So right now, I have three classes on my desktop. I have uh, the Library Media Technology class, which is a class that I run. I'm the teacher, and I have 20 students in that class. And the iPad for Elementary, again, is a class that I run. Joan had a class that she created, and she sent me a code and invited me into her class. So this is a class I'm in that I'm taking from her. Um, if I want to create a new class, to create a new class, I click on the plus sign in the up create class, and I can name the class. I'm going to call this AP Chemistry. And I probably in the section area want to be able to put in my... Um, section number or my period. So I want to do period 2 and click on create. Once the class is created, I'm sitting on the class desktop with that not easy. In the upper right hand corner, I can change the photo and these are photos that Google gives you. You can't upload your own photos yet. That doesn't mean it won't come. Um, and I'm going to pick another banner photo to go on here. When I'm looking at the class, I see I have two options on the screen bar, stream and students. The stream is where I would set up my announcements and any assignments, and my students is where I would be able to manage the students that are in my class. On the stream tab, I have any upcoming assignments that are um, in my assignments that I've created, and then beneath it is the class code. And this is the code that I would give to students if I wanted to invite them into the class. I can also reset that class code or disable the class code. In the next video, I'm going to talk about creating assignments and announcements, but let's take a quick look at the student tab on the setup option. The easiest way to get students into a class is to have them join with the class code, which is this code that's given to you when you create a new class. When students go to their classroom for the first time, they should choose the plus sign on the desktop at the top right hand corner. Let me take you there. And they would choose, instead of creating a class, they would choose to join a class. And that would bring them right into the student section of the class with the class code that you gave them. Another way you can do this is by clicking add, and this would be manually. One of the issues with um, adding students manually is that it doesn't use the West Hartford Public School address book. Instead, it goes to your personal contact group um, and personal contact groups that you create in here. So you would have to have had this done beforehand where you set up your AP Chemistry Period 2 class and then put all your students in that class already. And then you could just select it and bring it in. Um, it is easier to just use the class code. We covered creating a new class in Google Classroom and what it looks like on your desktop and how it looks in your Google Drive. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about assignments and announcements. See you soon.